Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. In this video, we are going to be providing you with a recipe to make a carnauba paste wax at home, a nice glossy carnauba backboned paste wax. We're also going to be doing the Forensics Detailing channel patron launch, and as part of that launch, we're going to be giving away a load of free product. Well, I quit my job down at the car wash and tell my mommy goodbye, no. By sundown, I left Kingston with my guitar full of coke. I hitchhiked all the way down to Memphis, I got a room in the YMCA. For the next two weeks, I went on them back to looking for a place to play. Well, I thought my picking would set them on fire, but nobody wanted to hire a little guitar. So I bummed me a ride down to Midland, Georgia, on overloaded boats and truck. I bummed on down to Panama City, started checking out some of them all-night bars. Hoping I could make myself a dollar making music on my guitar. I got the same old story, them all-night pins. There ain't no room around here for a guitar, man. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So this video is all about showing you how to make your first Carnuba paste wax at home. First of all, I'm gonna run through the equipment that you need, and this is all entry-level equipment that is very cheap, so you can get up and running if you wanna make a paste wax at home for not a lot of money. Let's go through the equipment. Okay, so first up, you need an electric wax melter. Absolutely critical, really, guys. The one I'm using in this video costs $14.99, which is a bargain, that's including delivery. If you're really into this, it's a good idea to get two of them so that you can actually heat your solvents or you know, two separate mixtures together so you're not pouring in cold solvent into the overall wax blend. You also need to get yourself a digital thermometer, absolutely critical, so that you can measure temperatures. And this, this is relatively cheap, it costs £5.99, including delivery from the link I am providing. These things, always got to be careful because they always lag a little bit behind these digital thermometers, but you can't do this without them. You need to be aware of temperatures. The next thing is a cheap but accurate digital scale. So we're using the RAD mini scales as used by drug dealers up and down the country. They're accurate to 0 0.00 of a gram. Their limitation is they have a maximum weight of 100 grams, but you can work around that by, if you ever need to weigh out more than that, by, by, by just sort of doing you know multiple measurements if you like. So they're a good thing to get you started with. I also recommend you get a glass rod stirrer from eBay because they don't affect the temperature of the of the um, wax as much when you're stirring it. If, you know, if it's not ideal to use a metal spoon on you. I'd also recommend you get yourself a 500 mil Pyrex lab beaker um, that you can use to pour the wax from. And you can also use this if you've got two heating devices to heat up your solvent while you're melting the waxes. That's all the kit. Now let's go through the actual ingredients of the wax that you're gonna need. So we're using two waxes here. The backbone or the, the wax we're using the most is T1 grade Carnuba. Um, it's important to use a high quality one and there is differences in qualities with all the offerings of T1 grade Carnuba that's out there. I'm recommending you get your T1 Carnuba from Carchem. They'll sell you absolutely every single type of wax that you need or virtually every single type of wax. The one of few that will actually sell you Montan in kind of smaller versions so you don't have to buy like 25 kilos of it or something, you can just buy a little tub of it. So Carchem are an important source of where you get your waxes from. The next wax we're using is a pure, high quality, refined beeswax. Beeswax, really important. There is a massive variance in quality of beeswaxes. There's lots of different people offering them to you. Um, if you use a low quality one, that's not highly refined, they can be sticky. I generally find the more yellow they are, the more sticky they are, um, you know, and the more kind of, they don't, they don't give you the finish you want. So I tend to go for high quality ones that, that generally look whiter than the other ones. The one I'm gonna be re recommending to you in this video is the Mother's, um, Mother's Nature Goodness is the name of the company and they sell, I think, on Amazon and eBay on their own store, and I'll put a link for that in the description. The next thing we're gonna to need to buy is a carrier oil, okay? So we're gonna be using an organic carrier oil, and we're gonna try and make a nice oily wax that, that has a good amount of gloss here. Now, there's all sorts of information when you read these waxes, and they're using, it's almost like a battle to find the most exotic sounding carrier oil that you can get your hands on. 
Um, now you do, oils are important. You want to use high quality, you know, essential oils are good, but you don't want to use a low quality oil that's all kind of full of impurities that are they're going to affect the finish and make the wax greasy and you know all those sorts of things so you do need to play around with essential oils um, but in this video we're just going to be using grapeseed oil which works well and again we're getting this from mothers the same place we buy the wax from so we haven't got to keep ordering from different places the final ingredient is the solvent which we're going to use to keep this paste wax in a semi-solid state so that we can actually deliver it and work it over the panel without the the solvent it would be like a hard rubbery wax that you wouldn't be able to spread so you need to keep it semi dissolved we're going to be using car chem phase which is absolutely fantastic you know it's used in a lot of commercial grade products that are out there waxes as a wax solvent it is completely suitable um, and it will serve you well just for the purpose of making your first wax so you buy your t1 nuba and your phase from car chem you buy your beeswax and I'll link the specific one I'm using in the description and your oil from Mother's. So you've only got to go shopping at two different places. That is all the ingredients we need. And now I'm going to walk through the procedure for, for, for actually making this wax now. Step one, measure out the waxes according to the recipe shown in the description of this video. I'm making 300 grams of wax overall so all the values are trebled in this demonstration. Next, turn the wax melter onto full heat and pour in the wax mixture to start to melt it. Just like we did for the waxes, measure out the carrier oil and then pour this into the wax melter with the waxes. Place the lid on the wax melter and double check that you're running at full heat. Measure out the phase solvent, and if you have a second heated device, it's really handy to be able to raise the temperature of this solvent up to around 80 to 85, so that when you add it to the wax, it doesn't lower the temperature. If you don't have a separate heating device, you can just slowly trickle feed in the solvent so you don't overcool the wax. A separate microfiber towel will always come in handy for wiping the tools, and if you want to add any fragrance oils into the wax blend to add a scent to the wax, then you can do that as well. Keep heating the wax till it gets up to around 80 to 85 degrees and at that point you can pour the hot solvent blend in in one go or if you have a colder solvent blend you can put it in in stages so you don't lower the temperature of the wax. Bring the blend back up to around 80 to 85 degrees and stir the mixture with a glass rod stirrer for at least somewhere between three to seven minutes to make sure all the components are blended together. Turn the wax melter off and allow the wax to cool down to 60 to 65 degrees and at that point you're ready to pour. Transfer the hot wax blend into another suitable container to pour it. In this video I'm using a Pyrex beaker. It helps if that Pyrex beaker is slightly warm so it doesn't lower the temperature of the wax too much. In this video we're just pouring the wax straight into each individual pot. You can pour a small amount of the wax into the bottom of each jar and then roll it around to prime the pot. You can also do shorter staggered pours to try and get a smoother finish and reduce the collapsing of the centre of the wax. Allow the waxes 30 minutes to an hour to fully solidify and then you can place the lid on each tin and then leave those waxes for 24 hours to fully harden. Make sure to clean out all the heating containers that you've used before the wax hardens and that way everything will be clean for next time. So there you go guys, you've now made your first paste wax from, from hopefully following all this stuff. I hope it was useful. Shouldn't cost you too much money to buy all this equipment and wax. You can get up and running, I haven't added it all up, but it must be about 50 or 60 quid to get up and running brewing your own waxes. And then all you've got to do is perhaps buy some more waxes and experiment with some different oils. And then the sky's the limit, you're up and running and brewing wax. And it's all about having fun and enjoying it as a hobby and improving the wax and like I say as far as you want to take it the sky is the limit um, so here is the wax we've actually made here in this video it's nice and oily it's quite hard when you lay this out in your panel you know do it avoid doing it in hot sunlight when the panels are hot um, 
but leave this on, put, put it on very thin and leave it for at least 10 to 20 minutes for the solvents to vaporize a bit so the wax starts to sort of bed down onto the panel and then buff it to a high shine and you should have one to two months of good protection. It's not gonna be a bead monster because it's mainly Carnuba. Um, it's got no, no sort of synthetics in there to try and um, improve performance, but it's gonna, it's a good wax this, I've used it, and it's similar to what R22 2 and Pete's 53 are giving you, a nice oily wax that's really reliant on, on the oils and wax to deliver you a good finish. So it's, it's a good starting point, guys, and like I say, it's, um, it's a pretty cost-effective way of getting into the wax, um, home wax blending. The next thing I want to talk about is the patron launch, guys. So I'm launching this patron thing as a way to crowdfund for more camera equipment. I set a goal on Patreon. Um, so at the moment, the first goal is to get a simple wide angle lens. Um, it's all going to be for camera equipment. All of the money raised there will be for equ camera equipment. And once I've got that equipment, I'll show you I've bought it. So it's not going into the, 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 the forensics detailing beer fund. It's all going to get spent to hopefully improve the production of the channel, which at the moment is all done on a shoestring. So I want to try and improve that. Um, there's going to be two tiers of Patreon. The first tier you pay a dollar a month. 75p a month and it gives you access to um, all of these written product reviews that I'm putting on there at the moment so everything that comes into this garage I'm going to be doing written product reviews on they don't all feature in videos because it can take hours to shoot video and edit video and I can do a, a written product review very relatively quickly okay um, write it up and photograph the products a lot quicker so there'll be a lot more products going on to there I've already I think I've already done about 10 that's the main thing that the tier one patrons will get. I've created a second tier at the moment. Again, loads of products come in and I can't use them all. And uh, if I just stick them up on the shelf, they're just gonna stick there and get wasted. So I've been giving them away to friends and stuff like that. And um, what I'm gonna do is give them away to the patrons. So at least once a year, I'll box up a whole lot of products, you know, microfiber, liquid products, cleaning products, whatever, whatever I've got there box it up and send it off to one of the tier two patrons. And that's what we're gonna to do to start with. So the tier one patron is a dollar a month, the tier two patron is $5 a month. As part of the patron launch as well, to give it a kickstart, I'm gonna be doing a product launch to the first 10 people that sign up to, to either tier. Um, you are gonna get three things. You're gonna get a sample of the wax that we made in this, this particular video. You're gonna get a copy of issue three of the Pro Detailers magazine. And then you're going to get one of the following three things, either a 250ml bottle of detail spray or a Ragmaster microfiber cloth. So wax magazine and then detail spray or a microfiber cloth. And I've got five Dragos, one Wizard Edgeless and four detail spray. So it'll just be random whether you get a microfiber or a detail spray. The Dragos, I had a look at them because I wanted to have a look at their Terry's, but I've gone with the Edgeless 360s, but they're both good. So I'm just... These aren't going to get used, they're brand new, so I'm interested in your opinions on them as well to the people that I send out. So the Patreon group, guys, as well as offering you exclusive product reviews and the, um, and the product giveaways for the Tier 2, I want this Patreon group to also be um, more influential on where the channel goes. So I'm, I'm going to do lots of polling about particular products that I'm going to be featuring next. So it's gonna be like a steer group as well for the Forensics Detailing channel. At the moment, I'm not planning on doing any exclusive videos because it's really important that the YouTube channel, the Forensics Detailing YouTube channel stays the same and just keeps putting that content out there because that's what we do. That's not gonna change. This is really just a place for the guys that are really into the channel and wanna support it um, to go. So I know it's not gonna be for everyone, but hopefully it's gonna hopefully it's gonna be important and allow me to um, fund getting some of this equipment. You know, this camera equipment costs a fortune and you know a lot of the channels out there that are doing this properly are using cameras that are two or three thousand pounds and all this bolt-on equipment and other cameras and lenses, it costs so much money. So the primary reason is to try and fund more of that equipment because I'm doing everything on one, like I said before, entry level camera and I'm trying to increase the uh, production quality. But I'm very mindful of the fact that I want to give something back to those that do support the channel. That's why I'm putting this exclusive kind of product 
review feed on there. So that is the Patreon launch, guys. Like I say, the product giveaway there is there to kickstart it. The product giveaway really is only for um, UK mainland only, guys, because it will cost a fortune to send this lot out around the world to various places. Um, but of course, you can sign up if you want to support the channel and get those um, um, news feeds of, of, of um, product reviews. You know, that's the main thing I'm trying to offer on there. Right, that is it guys. Have a go. The, the thing about this video is I really want you guys to have a go at making this wax at home. I want you to tell me your thoughts on it. I, wanna, I want it to be a good starting point and I'm keeping it simple using two wax blends and oil and a simple single solvent. You can add a little bit of carrier oil if you like. I mentioned, I showed you one from FJAS there. They do millions of different um, fragrance oils that you can blend into wax. So I used spiced apple in this, but I forget about the fragrances when you're starting out because you're just gonna be doing loads of test blends, but people do like to put the fragrance in there and the dyes as well later on. Um, that is it. Have a go, get into wax making because it's great fun and um, you will have a lifetime supply of wax very quickly and it will also teach you a thing or two about what makes a good wax and, and how you, you blend the wax correctly so that you've got the right amount of solvent and oil in there. You know, if you put too much of solvent and oil in there, the wax can sort of like ooze all of these ingredients. It can't, you know, it can't hold them all, but if you put too too little, it becomes like a rock hard candle when you're using lots of carnauba. So you've got to balance the overall blend, but you've also got to balance the oil and um, solvent ratios. And this will give you a good starting point and you can adjust it however you see fit. Um, but it's pretty well balanced, this wax. It's not ridiculously soft, it's not ridiculously hard. It's, it's um, very grainy once you start working it and taking that top layer off and you'll see the graininess of all the high carnauba. That's nice actually, I like a good grainy high carnauba paste wax as long as it's well oiled. Okay guys, that is it from the Forensic Detailing channel for this video. Um, coming up on this channel, we're gonna be going head first into ceramic coatings. We're gonna be doing lots of videos on ceramics, basic stuff on how you apply them, more in depth stuff on whether they're right for you or not, which can be a bit of a minefield, but I think it needs to be, you know, a, a good, frank and open discussion about what these products are giving you, you know, and why you might wanna use them, but also why you might not wanna use them, which is an important thing to talk about and doesn't get talked about much. We're gonna be looking at some of the most popular and kind of highly regarded ceramics, the brands that have built their range around this particular form of protection and doing some comparisons on those. So there's lots to come um, in 2018. I'm really looking forward to it, guys. It's been fun this year. And, um, you know, I'm still, the motivation levels, the hunger is still there. So lots to come on the Forensics Detailing channel. Take care and I'll see you all next year. Bye for now. Make it on out to the club called Jackson. You got a little time to kill.